How to add or remove an email address for messages and FaceTime? Add a new email to FaceTime and iMessage on iPhone and iPad. Open the Settings app. Tap on your Apple ID name at the top. Then tap on Name, Phone Numbers, Email. Next to Contactable at, tap on Edit, under your emails. An option Add Email or Phone Number will appear. Tap on it. Then tap on Add an Email Address. Enter the new email address you want to add and tap on Next. Go to the email address you added and copy the code you got. Go back to Settings and paste the code where you're asked to. After a few seconds, a pop should appear asking to add the new email address for iMessage and FaceTime. Tap on Yes. If the pop-up doesn't appear, open the Settings app. Scroll down and tap on Messages. Then tap on Send and Receive. If you want to receive messages to and from the newly added email, select the email address under the first option. A check mark should appear next to it. If you want to start conversations using the added email, select the email address under the second option as well. A check mark should appear next to it. Go back to settings and tap on FaceTime. If you want people to reach you by FaceTime with a new email, select the newly added email in the first option. A check mark should appear. If you want other users to see the newly added email as your caller ID and not your phone number or other email address, Select it in the second option as well. A check mark should appear. Remove the new email from FaceTime and iMessage on iPhone and iPad. Open the Settings app. Tap on your Apple ID name at the top. Then tap on Name, Phone Numbers, Email. Next to Contactable app, tap on Edit. Next to the email address you want to delete, tap on the red minus icon. Then tap on Delete and select Remove. Add a new email to FaceTime and iMessage on Mac. Click on the Apple logo. Select System Preferences, then click on Apple ID. From the left sidebar, select the Name, Phone, Email option. Under the Contact a Bullet box, click on the plus button. Enter the new email address you want to add and click on Next. Go to that email address and copy the verification code. Then, go back to Apple ID settings and paste the code in the appropriate box. After a few seconds, a pop should appear asking to add the new email address for iMessage and FaceTime. Click on Yes. If the pop-up doesn't appear, open the Messages app. On your keyboard, press the command and comma keys. When a new window appears, select the iMessage tab. Then, under you can be reached for Messages at. Check the box next to the new email address. Under Start New Conversations from, click on the drop-down menu and choose the newly added email address if you want to start conversations with the new email. Next, open the FaceTime app. On your keyboard, press the command and comma keys. Select the Settings tab. Under you can be reached for FaceTime at, check the box next to the newly added email. Next to Start New Calls from, click on the drop-down menu and choose the newly added email address if you want to start calls with the new email. Remove the new email from FaceTime and iMessage on Mac. Click on the Apple logo. Select System Preferences. Then, click on Apple ID. From the left sidebar, select the Name, Phone, Email option. Select the email you want to remove, and under the Contact a Bullet box, click on the minus button. Click on Delete Address. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files, Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.